Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to download um, and install the LSP Organic Real Leaf Overlay Packs in Photoshop. You can use these leaves in any editing program, really it doesn't need to be Photoshop, any editing program that allows you to work with layers, but I'm going to show you in Photoshop because you also get the bonus free Blustery Day Leaf Applicator Photoshop Actions which help you apply the leaves and blend them with your image even more but you can do this by hand too. I'm going to show you both ways. Once you've purchased from the LSP Actions website, you can download the Leaf Actions and the Leaf Zip file. This zip file might take a little while to download because it's full of 125 high resolution leaves. It's 1.61 gigabytes. So let that download for a little bit. Don't be alarmed if it takes a little while because these are very, very high resolution real leaf images. Once you've downloaded, you're going to need to unzip or extract this file. It's zipped up for a faster download, otherwise it would take you a lot longer to download these individual files. On Mac, you can use Archive Utility or double click. On PC, you can right click and choose Extract All. And just let that run for a little while. That's going to extract the leaves from the folder. There are 125 in there. It may take a minute or two to go. Depends on how fast your computer is. But before using, you do need to unzip and extract these. Okay, so once you've unzipped, um, you'll notice they are now in an open folder here. You can double click this folder and inside you will see all the leaves. Make them large for you here. Yeah, they might look on, um, on a black background, they might have a white background, they might have a grey background, but these are all transparent. It just depends on how your computer renders the preview for you. Inside you have 15 full leaf overlays that you can simply drag and drop over your image with depth of field. And you also have 110 individual leaves that you can drop in, resize, rotate, um, you can warp them, you can add them anywhere to make your own very own custom leaf overlays using these. You can see them all in here, you can scroll through. I'm viewing these large, um, you can make your thumbnail size any size. So the easiest way to use these is to simply drag and drop over your image in Photoshop. So for example, um, I can grab one here, drag and drop, and it will appear over the image in Photoshop, literally just like that. It will appear in a transform box so you can resize and reposition these leaves, you can rotate them round, it's entirely up to you. Hit enter, double click, or choose a little tick up the top to, uh, to apply them. And that's that really. To manually remove leaves, for example, if there's one covering your subject's face or you decide you want to paint a few away, you can come down here to the little box. It looks a little bit like the Japanese flag to add a layer mask. And you'll see a white box is added next to the leaf. This is the mask. It's a little bit like a scratch card. You need to choose a brush, set to black, and you can simply brush any of these leaves away that you do not wish to show. This is much better than erasing them because they're still there you're just choosing to hide them. So that is the easiest, fastest way to apply leaves. Now I'm going to show you how you can do this manually using your library section in Photoshop. This is if you're using Photoshop. If you don't want to use your libraries, you can skip on ahead a little bit and see how to use the actions that are included. To use your library, you simply go create a new library. Let's call it LSP Real Leaf Overlays and hit create. Now you can select all the leaves and drag and drop them into the library. And these will load up into Photoshop so you can um, drag and drop these without having to open the folder. Just like this, you can grab it, drag and drop, hit OK, and you can just drag and place these in. Back to your layers panel, you do need to be able to see your layers panel. You can come up here to window and choose layers. You can also choose libraries if you can't see your library. This is um, basically your workspace. You decide which tabs you'd like to show. And a layer mask and let's just remove a couple of these. And that's it. Super, super easy. And you can see uh, some are in focus, some are um, background blurred, some are foreground blurred, so it really does add that 3D de depth and element to your image. So now I'm going to show you how to use the leaves using the uh, Photoshop actions that are included. 
These actions allow you to apply and blend, but they also allow you to change the colors, add your own blur, add overlays, so many different things. How about we try it on a different image? So you need to go back into your downloads folder and find the action, um, the blustery day leaf applicator actions. You can double click these to get into Photoshop. That's the easiest way to install actions. Um, for other methods of installing actions, you can visit the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com and you can find the installation guides there. So I'm just going to double click those and they will have loaded into the actions panel. If you can't see your action panel, come up here to window and choose actions and you'll notice that the, uh, the actions have appeared right here at the bottom of your action panel. If you've got a lot of actions like I do, <laughs> you'll notice they appear right at the very bottom. You can close this folder down and you can drag them right to the top if you wanted to. So let's just bring those up there. Coming past all my million and one actions that I have installed. I do like to drag the action set I'm working on right to the top of the action panel just because it makes it easier to access. To play an action, first of all you need to add your leaf overlay before you go into any of the toning. So you can either drag and drop manually like I just showed you or you can use choose leaf and position. To play an action in grey mode you need to click the action and then come up here on down here sorry onto the play button and this will play the action out. If you're on Elements, your Play It button is going to be at the top here. So choose Leaf and Reposition first to find the leaves you'd like to add over to your image and hit Play. And make sure you um, open up the unzipped pack. So how about we add in, which one should we add to this image? I think the green maple will work. Yep, that one works perfectly. So you can move these around and resize if you wanted to. Either hit the little tick, double click or hit enter and they will have placed in. The actions will automatically have added a white layer mask so you don't need to do that. The actions have also selected a black brush for you so if you'd like to remove any of the leaves from your image you can simply rub over them until they vanish. Now I'm going to go over onto button mode because I much prefer using Photoshop actions on button mode come up here to these little lines and choose button mode and you'll notice the actions have appeared in color. Drag the side tab in until the actions snap into a nice neat column. If they look messy like this you're going to want to um, drag them in so that you can see the actions in a really nice column and you don't need to click the play icon for this. Button mode is not available in elements by the way so if you're using elements you'll have to click and choose the play icon up the top. But for these, you can literally just click. So for example, you've got resize if you want to go in, um, resize and reposition after you've added your leaf. Next up, you have the add, add the blur paint at section. Just choose one blur for best results. And what you can do is paint on blur. This is a smart object and it will add the blur effects to that. So how about we go for the falling motion blur? So you click this and you'll notice a little black box has appeared underneath. So for example, we can rub it over this leaf here and you'll see it has converted that to a motion blur. See there before and after. You can also double click down here where it says motion blur and this will bring up, bring up the motion blur box and you can, um, you can change this to suit your image if you wanted to. Same with all the blurs but I do recommend just using one because it will reconvert to a smart object. Next up you have tone your leaf paint. This is going to rasterize your layer. Now don't worry if I'm using words that are um, confusing. Smart object basically means you can open the leaves on a new window. And um, let me just get rid of that. Rasterize means the layer is um, converted to suit your image. And that works much better when it comes for toning. So don't worry about that too much. Just go through them in order and you'll be fine. So for example, um, what might we want to do to these? Perhaps you want to add um, some haze mat to suit this image, so you simply make sure your leaf layer is selected first. Choose add haze mat and you can paint this on. These actions are very, very gentle. They're ideal for building up over your image. So I've just added that haze mat to, um, to the image. You've also got an extra um, show the effect on all. So if you didn't want to paint this over everything, you can just click that and it will show the effect on everything. How about we make the leaves um, a little bit warmer 
and I'm going to show on all because I want this to show on all the images. So now you can see we've added some haze mat and some warmth to those leaves. So we're really adapting them to your image. So you can use any of these. They do exactly what they say. Contrast, haze, saturation down, boost, make it greener, uh, make it warmer make it redder, yellower, purpler, browner if you want brown leaves and they literally will change it to show um, on all of them if you want to or if you're just adding individual leaves you can use this just to paint on certain individual leaves if you wanted to. It's really really simple, even simpler than I'm making it sound. You also have leaf effects here, these are better for the single leaves if you want to add a floor drop shadow for example if your leaf is near to the floor you can add a drop shadow and play with that. You can add some undershading and a rim light if you wanted to for your leaves. So these, these just literally um, enable you to really edit and work those leaves into your image. And then underneath this section, I'm just going to get rid of the ones we're not using. Underneath this section you have the bonus image finisher set. You have the contrast subtle, autumn vignette, you have the Autumn Spice overlay um, and the Baker Pie overlay. These are featured in the LSP Cinnamon Berry Autumn um, Fall Overlay Collection. I've given you a couple of bonuses here. You can try these out and use them with your image. So you can click this on Autumn Spice. You can slide the opacity to suit. This is a little notice that comes up. And it allows you to add that beautiful fall toning to your image. You can just slide the opacity to suit. And you can also, black brushes selected, you can paint this off any areas you don't wish it to show. And the same for Baker Pie too. Autumn Spice will only work in um, full versions of Photoshop, not Elements. So for you guys with Elements, I've included Baker Pie in there too. Um, so you have an Autumn Overlay that you can use. You can simply slide the opacity there. You also have Contrast Subtle, which adds this beautiful hint of contrast to your image. And the Autumn Vignette, which will darken those edges. You can, again, bring the opacity up or down. So let's just see there before and after using the uh, the LSP leaf overlays. I added the maple leaves. So let's go for another one and move a little bit faster this time. So how about this image here? You see it's very autumnal with the leaf but the toning isn't very autumnal. So I'm going to choose a leaf and reposition. How about, uh, let's go for classic fall. I'm just grabbing these and trying. If you add a leaf, some leaves in and you think, no, they're not the leaves for my image, you can simply drag down and drop into the trash icon and try again. I've just added in classic full four. The brush is already selected, so I don't even need to click on anything because I've added with the actions. It's already added a layer mask for me, so it's all done. I'm going to get rid of that guy too. Let me show you how to add some individual leaves too. So go back on choose leaf and reposition and you can come down here and choose any of these individual leaves. There are 110 of them for you to choose from all different leaves to suit different settings and you can grab one, double click and resize. When you come to adding the individual leaves, remember when they first break from the tree they're going to be pointing down but as they start to fall they are going to be flipping a little bit, so it, depending on where you'd like to place the leaf, have a think about the positioning of that leaf. For example, just like that. Now the blur paints. I'm going to um, add a foreground blur to this one because I would like this to be a little bit more in the foreground and paint that on. It's already selected a white brush so I can just go ahead and paint that on or I can choose the show blur on all just to completely tweak. The reason it's a paint action is because you may only want to show the blur on certain areas of your leaf or certain parts of a full leaf overlay. So for example, I might take it off there so it looks like part of it is in focus and part of it is um, going off into the background focus. So it allows you that little bit of control. But the actions choose the brush and add the mask and do everything for you. You simply got to click and paint. Really, really easy. Now how about we warm this leaf up a little bit, so I'm going to click on make it warmer and show the effect on all. So now that leaf is matching this one a lot better. And now down to the bonus section, um, oh no, go on, let me add one more, let's add one more, let's really add some leaves to this one. How about the uh, star fascination? So this is, um, because this is a portrait image, it's appeared quite small. So you can simply resize until the leaves are the correct size for your image. 
and I can see right away there's a leaf in the wrong place there so I'm just going to make my brush larger and paint that away just like that and I think these look a little bit bright for this image so I'm going to use on the tone your leaf section I'm going to add the saturation down and just paint this over some of those leaves that look a little bit bright just to suit the toning of this image a little bit more Go add the subtle contrast this just really adds a lovely crisp boost and if you find it's a little bit much you can just slide the opacity up or down to suit your image the autumn vignette again slide the opacity up or down it really depends on how dark those edges are to begin with so just have a little slide of that one and let's add autumn spice overlay just to finish off a black brush is selected so you can take this um, the overlay off any areas of your image you don't want it to show so i'm just taking it off a little bit there on the skin. I wouldn't recommend using a full opacity brush for that because um, you make your image look a little bit grey if you do that. Even if your original image isn't grey, once you've added those rich red tones, anything you decide to um, paint away is going to kind of look less toned. And you can play with the opacity if you want to really boost that up or just add a little hint of it there. So there's before and after using the LSP leaves. There are literally endless possibilities that you can do with these leaves. You can add in the combinations, you can add individual leaves. This image here is by Deborah O'Connor Photography, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. Let's add Autumn Spice to this one as well. And if you'd like the full um, autumn overlay collection, you can get that on the website www.lsp-actions.com. That is the Cinnamon Berry Autumn Overlays, and that has um, all the autumn editing tools you need. But with this one, you do get the bonus image finisher section with a few little samples in there to try. So you can just go ahead and use those right away in your images. And the LSP Real Autumn Leaves are available at www.lsp-actions.com. Um, you can download those and get started right away. You can use them indoor, outdoor, on all sorts of images. Like I said, the possibilities are literally endless. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.